Hello everyone and welcome back to Game of Thrones. Uh, to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones actually. Um, as the Beesburys and currently uh, Queen Rhaenyra has declared war on Dorne uh, to conquer, I believe, the Stoneway. Is it only the Stoneway? I believe that's this the High Lordship, yes. So she's, I think, only going for the High Lordship. I'm not too certain, but it seems like that, yeah. The Jure war over the Stoneway. So yeah, it's not gonna, Dorne still will be independent, which is interesting, but yeah, we're just gonna stand by. We're gonna we're currently seeing uh, Old Town being uh, besieged by raiders over here, the the High Tower actually, not Old Town, the High Tower, uh, which is very interesting, um, and it seems like nobody's doing anything about it. I certainly can't do anything about it, um, and my liege, even though I put him in house arrest, but I guess he still remembers that um, as a craven, the craven he is, um, he does not like me too much, um, and his son Arden. It's gonna be ruler after him, but yeah, and Old Town has been raided. Wow. I wonder if he's actually gonna siege it completely down to the ground. He might do. Now Ormond has died of what? Just a natural death. Oh, good for him, I guess. He was paranoid as well. So many old paranoid people. Although I'm not actually that old yet. Only 41. Hmm. I'm kind of concerned that we are really in debt so much but uh, there's not much we can do at the moment I think I really want to siege down this castle uh oh well my liege considers me a traitor so of course I'm not gonna help um, although to be fair there's not much I can do against 3,200 men and yeah they've looted s wow 37 gold yep hideout's now been looted minus 25 tax well, I'm very happy that they do not attack me. How's the war going? Wow, already 61%. Yeah, the Dornish are being beaten back um, by the Garians. The Reach as well. Bloodstone, the company of Bloodstone. At the Dale Griffin's Roost. Yeah, they're, they're being beaten back 90%. Soon enough, this war will be over. Just as quickly as it started. And these... Stupid raiders all over the place. Yeah, so the Iron Throne only took the Stoneway, but Dawn is still independent. Very interesting. Very interesting. And everyone comes back. Cool. Well, now we only need some money. That's all we need, basically. If we could join the Crown Loyalist or Liege Loyalist faction um, that Sunhouse, Bandalan, the Black Bars, and Torrent Peak have already joined but no I'm not too interested so those these two and this guy are in the Liege Loyalist faction how's Ambrose how's Kui yeah not too important for me my poor son's still unlanded but there's nothing I can do and Lord Paramount Darman Tully a new Tully where's he ruling from Blackwood Vale Wow, okay. So the Tullys are still ruling. Uh, he has usurped the title from Samwell. Oh! So Rhaenyra made a Blackwood the Lord of the Riverlands and Darman has usurped that title. Interesting. Is that correct? Or did he just usurp the Blackwood Vale? I'm not too certain. He usurped some title. Anyways, the Tullys are back in command of the Riverlands as they should be, so that's fine. And Casterly Rock is being besieged. Oh my god, these Ironborn Raiders, can you please do something about them? Please. How's that possible that they're raiding the entire time? They're overpowered. I I think I don't even want to have a coastal province because that would be annoying. I constantly have to raise my men. And they're coming with 3,000 troops. I mean, that's a lot. Wow. Well, for now, there's not much we can do, actually. Um, we are just sitting around. Samuel Blackwood has been released. That's good for him. So, yeah, we're basically just sitting around. We can now choose how our heir will be educated. Oh, my God. Well, of course, he is our son's son, and he will be groomed for command because, well, that's going to be his duty. So he will be groomed for command. And now, here's the thing. We are an expert scientist, which kind of things were wise and well-read, with deep understanding of philosophy, science, and history. 
um, we're an honorable man. I guess you can't really say anything about this, but he is our heir's heir. He needs to get the best education uh, possible. Um, so highly to get him the best equipment possible. The problem is we don't have that much money, right? But we're not greedy. We're not entirely a family person either. Hmm. Basic equipment is not going to be enough. I think we're going to give him a very good tutor, but we're not going to spend highly. We're going to do that, but that's that's already too much. Um, but yeah, I think at least that much we have to afford. We have to try at least. Sadly, we do not have more money than that. Now, for his second son, however, uh, Abela, we will not spend that much money. We'll spend way, le well, way less, but... Um, for the for our heirs heir, I guess it's important. Yep. So we have five years to get our money up. Hopefully that works. Let's actually check out our castle here. So Rose Road gives us movement speed and supply limit. But we don't have any. Yeah, we only make eight bucks. It's not too much. Household God minus ten percent. And these ironborn, who is, who's this guy? Oldenkeep has attacked. He's revolting against the rule of the rich with Grey Shield. No! Grey Shield. That's our ally. Ah, oh, man. He's infirm. Why is he raising up? We need our allies. <laughs> oh, man. How many men can you raise, by the way? 3,000. Okay. Well, that's not bad. It's all of his men right there. They're currently fighting us. Or at least they are hostile. 2000, Army of John. Oh well. There's just Liege Loyalist. Now, Intrigue, there's not much I can do. I could hold a tournament. And now, Rhyme of Brightwater li likes me more. That's very good. We want the... We want the Florence to like us. We should also probably improve relations. Now that we are back under the uh, high towers, we should probably also improve relations with them um, because now the Florence don't matter as much. So yeah, but he still thinks that we are a traitor. Uh, we don't want that. Even though his castle is still burning. At least it looks aflame. And Grayson has taken her last breath. No, she died of illness. And now Sir Jaharis Valerian is the new king, so no more Targaryens. He is a dragon rider. Who's he riding? He's riding Vermax. Not the strongest dragon out there. Um, he's owner of a dragon egg. Uh, brave man, humble, a little bit greedy and paranoid. Mm. But he's married to Reyna Targaryen, a disinherited, attractive woman. So Valerians are now ruling the Iron Throne. Well, that will probably cause a civil war. Um, however, I hold no grudge against him, so long live the king. Um, I don't particularly like him, but I don't hate him either. And King Jaehaerys has declared a war over ghost hills. Oh my god. So Dawn has to fight yet again against Riverlands, Vale, Stormlands, and Westerlands. Yeah, no chance. This war will be over as quickly as it started. And we can yet Okay, so this guy lacks a guardian. Now, <clears throat> how will we do this? Now, I think with kids, uh, especially our firstborn, I want them to maybe the first four years until they're 10 years old, I want them to be educated by um, by our local master arms or our maester or something like that, whatever we've chosen. Um, then the next four years until they're 14, I want them to be educated uh, somewhere. I want to want them to be fostered somewhere else so they can learn something good. And then the last year, uh, or last two years, once they're 14, I will educate them myself uh, to show them all the way. Um, so yeah, so right now we're gonna let you educate by our master. Well, he's not really that good. She actually looks good. Yeah, my daughter-in-law. She's chaste, patient, charitable, gregarious, humble, diligent. It's not her son, yet she seems 
trustworthy enough to do a good job. So yeah, Sella, you will uh, educate him. Although, no, I okay, we're gonna pick Sella. Uh, um, yeah. Wait, why doesn't it doesn't it work? There you are. Send Sella. Okay. So he's been educated by Sella, my uh, son's wife. So I guess it makes sense that she also gets to do something. We can give her an honorary title bodyguard. No, I'm not going to do that. Although she is a poor fighter. And Brightwater has now declared war for the Reach. His claim for the Reach. Lord Rhyme is claiming... Huh. Interesting. Wow. And a lot of people raising up against him. So he's already in a couple of wars. Now, he declared a war on me. Remember that. He declared a war on me. So I'm not going to help him. That's for certain. Um, I'm not going to fight against him, probably, but yeah. Look at all these people who are rising up against him. Another dragon rider, Cyrax, is being led by Lucerius Valerion. Okay. A young artist is working on the divine icon of the smith, the aspect of the seven representing crafts and labor. He needs sponsorship to finish it, so we can place in our sept. This we cannot afford. Now, I do want to become a Paragon of Virtue. Uh, which means I need a lot of piety. But I cannot afford this at the moment. I'm sorry. I cannot afford this. Oh, look at this. More raiders. So, wow, there's a lot of civil wars going on. And it seems... Well, it seems like Alden Keep is losing. And Grey Shield, our allies over there. And now our other ally... Great, look at this. We have Greyshield, one of our allies, who is currently at war against his liege lord. Then we have our other ally, who is currently being besieged by the Florence of Brightwater. And our other ally over here, the Blackbars, who are being besieged by raiders. Lovely. We really picked the good people, I, I believe. Jesus Christ. What is what is the Hightower doing? He's the... Yeah, he's staying uh, loyal. Okay. Interesting. Wait. A raven has arrived. We should prepare. Winter is coming. Okay. Wait. This looks like he's... Okay, no. He's not High Lord of, of this. Okay, never mind. It Because of the borders, I for a moment thought that he was High Lord of um, the West Marches as well as High Tower. That would be overpowered. But he's not. So instead of sieging High Garden, they're actually sieging Middlebury. My ally. Great. At least they left. Ah, uh, the Black Bar's lands. We're still so much in negative, wow. So far we haven't gotten any bad events, but they will show up eventually. And look at this, the Dornish war is not going too good. The Dornish are actually def defending. My Septon Meros, who was performing charity work in our name, made the ultimate sacrifice when he was cornered by a desperate crowd of beggars in Nanyhold and trampled to death. Oh my god. Our Septon has just died. Well, Frederick will be a new Septon then. And, um... I'm gonna make him High Almana again. There you go. Enjoy. And uh, you will also have to perform charity, though. Good. Now, train children... To train your children. Will he only train my children or any children in the castle? I wonder. Improve defensive... Pacify. Improve holding. No, I think oversee the province is probably the best. Uh, tax. We need the tax. Yeah. The world is a dangerous place. And devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have been read that the people are conspiring to kill your wife, Linnet. This is worrying news. Of course it is. Um, who is conspiring to kill her? We don't even know who it is. But we can send my I can send my wife into hiding. Send her into hiding, and we will just do that. We don't want our wife to die. Who wants to harm her? Our spy master has nothing useful to report. What a fool! Do something, spy master. And look at this: Mulderbury has been sieged. Great. Bertram, no, he died. Stefan died. And so did Gerald. 
Great. So Esme is no longer meant. We had we paid money for this. Damn it. Ah. Uh, all right. Arrange a marriage. Who can you marry? Amasa Arms, a captain of the household guard. Is she at my court yet? No, she's in Middlebury. Come to my court. Oh my god. Didn't even notice that. When did this guy die? After a period of illness. Gerald died also of illness. Wow. Interesting. Just want my sister back home in Honeyhold. Safe behind our walls. Okay. She's arrived. Good. So let's marry her off to somebody. Um, Lord Withers. That's too far away, I believe. Um, can we marry you off to anyone else? Sarsfield. Frey. Kingsland and North. Um, no, I prefer Reachman, to be honest. Tumbleton. Crane. Strickland. Where is Strickland? Oh, that is Tumbleton. That's so far away, though. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to check that off camera. Not too certain. Don't want to do that right now. So yeah, uh, it seems like the Florence will rule over the Reach because look at this. They have a lot of men. Who are they being supported by? Uh, Long Table. Some imprisoned Roxton. Rosefoot, Withers, Ocean Road, Old Oak, The Arbor, wow, Cockles went, South Shield, wow, and the Tallies are being besieged, luckily my holdings are not being besieged, that's all I care about, um, now I do kind of care about that our ally is being besieged, but oh well, and the Dornish are actually beating back uh, the forces that are being sent here, only 100, well, why is there 123 troops? Army of King Jaislin. Why are you leaving them with your dragon? Dude, that's not smart. There's 900 men. What kind of armies are these? That's terrible. Now there is an army, 16,000. And that's more like it. The music stopped. Oh, look at this. Tyrells are now actually fighting about 10,000 men is what the rebels have. Wow. Negative 75%. But now we're winning the war against the Dornishmen. So, yeah, he's sending in his 16,000 men in Gold's Hill. Okay. And it seems like he's winning. Okay. Yep. Dragon has struck. Army of King Jaharis. No, not Jaharis. Jaharis. What's his name? I don't even know the name of my king. What's his name again? Jaharis. Certainly gonna have to make him an important character. He's our king. A young artist is working a divine icon in the maiden. Oh, damn it. Well, we would gain 50 piety for this. Ah. Uh. A young artist is working on a divine icon. Well, we do want to become a paragon of virtue. And representing innocent, innocence and chastity. Well, we are chast. Uh, he needs sponsorship. Okay, we will do that. Even though we don't have the money, but we will. We will sponsor the maiden. Or a sculpture of the maiden or whatever it was. We'll sponsor it anyway. So second war... Wait, uh, oh... For a moment I thought there was a ship battle, but no it wasn't. So the Reach will get a new liege lord, or we will get a new, or the, the Reach will get a new lord. Basically our liege will get a new lord, and the uh, Dornishmen are losing Ghost Hill, most likely. Yeah. And the Starks are helping. Rickon Stark, ruling over the north after Theon, no, wait. That is Lord Paramount Craig, and he was slain by Theon of Bear Island in personal combat. <laughs> this guy. He was slain by Theon of Bear Island. Wow. Pretty badass, these northerners. Okay. And now the war against the Dornish has ended, or, well, will end very soon. The High Septons, even, in this. Well. 
I'm gonna have to Florence here very soon. They do have a strong claim on the reach, so that does make sense. But the Honeyhold or the, the Beesbreeze have a claim on the reach as well. But yeah, that was the end of the war and also the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Steve Dronka, signing off.